Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, lads and lassies, welcome to another one of my streams again. I appreciate all the love and respect and the the views testing my audio. The views testing. All right, so my audio is good. So thank you for all the views. I see that you enjoy my Neverwinter. Um, so I continue to play Neverwinter. Uh, I will possibly play other games <laughs> as well as you want me to play those other games All right so oh let's get started shall we and as always we're gonna go ahead and start this as well we want to do our event every single day we won't be doing it twice a day but we can at least you know do it once a day uh, I guess doing it twice a day you'll get more stuff, so, I mean, by all means. Um, I don't know who this is. Never fought, uh, Never Enough has invited you to join Fat Kids Lag in real life. <laughs> Bruh. Okay, okay, okay. Nah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm gonna join this for now. I mean, we shouldn't I mean, if you want to join a guild, that's cool. But, I mean, uh, okay, you know what? It's hard to not see. Let's see if it's a guild 20. If it's not a guild 20, no, it's a guild 15, though. You know, I'm going to, like, uh, I'm not going to, I don't want to be a part of the guild. Uh, it is a 15, so sorry. I don't, I don't really want to be a part of it. But, anyways, I'm going to wait until I get to like a really, really high item level before I join one. But dude, man, I, I, I had to. I had to. The fat kids, bro. Like, I don't know. All right, let's do the hell pit real quick. And uh, we'll get to go. Well, not only that, let's see. Let's go to... All right, let's go to journals. What up, uh, this one. Now, we're going to go to adventures and we're going to activate the Dwarven King. So, it's already in activation. We're going to begin the story. So, uh, you're going to see that guy over on a horse right over there. Uh, we'll, we'll check it out. See that guy on a horse right over there with the big, huge diamond? Yeah. Okay. Anyways. All right. It is never too late to turn back. We're going to go ahead and get in here to the pits of hell, and then we're going to go ahead and do it. We're going to sign our name away. Get our two Your coins for the day. has been sealed. Well, I'm not gonna use. Uh, I'm not gonna have to use any of the add-ons they give me to see if I actually get three coins instead of two coins this time. To be honest, I should put a timer on whenever. Uh, we can do this again, so then I could get more seals. To be honest, you don't have to use any of the heals that they give us. Yeah, they're just gonna die. <laughs> All that combat advantage, bro.
Oh, this is a survival. Okay, so they, they, wait, was it survival last time? Or did I just get survival this time? I think it's just, never mind. Was not paying attention to the yesterday. Okay. We're gonna do five rounds of this. And then after that, we got 13 hours before we do it again. So I'll just do it off. Uh, I'll do it whenever I'm offline. Next round. Fight. Let everything group up. Yep, yeah, so I do appreciate everything that everyone can uh, give me. I appreciate all the love and support on these Neverwinter videos. Seem to me you guys like the videos. <sighs> I guess I could play. I, I guess I could play Starfield for you guys. I did get three likes on my video. I mean, that's not enough likes for me, but, you know, I'm not going to be picky. If you really do... I mean, if I could get more than three likes on this video that you want me to play Starfield, then most definitely, man. Most definitely. I kind of wish my uh, water, uh, my water was, uh, my symbol of water was like mythical right now. Yeah. That would actually be really nice to have. Because I think it's only a 60 second cooldown with mythical enchants. So it's not that big of a cooldown. So 60 seconds goes by really fast when you're actually fighting shit. So every time we do a video, we're gonna do these things. I mean, we're gonna do a video each day because we have to. We have a long journey ahead of us. 
uh, before we could hit dragon hunts as well. I'm not going to waste my time ulting right now because they're just going to like... Just going to respawn anyways. We got two more rounds. Two more. I wish it would just give us the uh, uh, a certain number of enemies instead of a timer, but I guess Next that's round. not like. Well, I mean, Fight. I guess that's not really considered a survival, though. <laughs> um. See, I'm not picking up any of these special items. I'm not going to use that health thing at the very bottom. I'm going to see if I can get more coins when I do that. So I feel like I can get way more coins doing that. So whoever comes at me, is just gonna, they're just all going to die now. The earthquake just killing them. <laughs> I swear we like bang out like a thousand uh we, we bang out like a thousand enemies in this game. This is just our warm up today. Ah oh, man, I didn't mean to do that. I wasn't gonna ult right here but yeah never mind I'll just ult anyways wasn't gonna ult but I decided anyways to ult And don't be afraid to lay on some comments, man. Make sure you comment on my video and tell me what you want to see. Uh, if you want to see me play some more Neverwinter, uh, but if you want to see me play Starfield, put it in the comments. Uh, you want to see me play Monster Hunter World, put it in the comments. You know what I mean, just I, I play the old school games sometimes, but you know. Uh, you want to see me play some Diablo, start a hardcore character, it don't matter. Just put it in the comments. And this video is uploaded. Oh. Doing our daily pet fiends. Stop running away, bro. <laughs> She's I can't even see the screen. There's so many numbers. <laughs> oh, this is funny, bro. Can't see the screen. 
I was also working on some Wayfinder today, so if you want to see some more early access Wayfinder, uh, this time I'll, like, legit, like, play some stuff and show you a little bit of what it's like. I mean, I know it's not impressive, but it's an alright game. I survive. All right, let's go get this Dwarven King started, bro. Really? Wow, I didn't see that last time. I didn't see the portal last time, man. <laughs> Did not see the portal. Okay, so it does give me two... Okay, so it doesn't matter if we use the stuff in there or not. We automatically get two things of participation. No matter what it is. Alright, uh, so you automatically get two things of participation. This is Astral Diamonds. Jesus, bro. We just we just get Astral Diamonds the whole time and stack up on them. So, like, 50,000. And we do it as long as possible. As long as this event's going on. How long is the event? The Hell Pit is 18 days. That's two coins per day. Oh yeah, we can, we can literally just use the Astral Diamonds. I mean... I don't understand why, why we're not getting any of these other... Each token represents successful mini participation in the appo uh, the appointment events. These can be traded for value items for the offer. Shall be awarded. Uh. Do we have to do other events? Okay, so this is put participation. I want to know where the event is. Yeah, see, five companion tokens? Not really worth it, I guess. So if you take two times... Well, take four times 20, I guess it's like 80. It's not really that many. Yeah, that's not that many uh, companion tokens. I would just go for the Astral Diamonds more than anything. But uh, we'll just save up towards the end. So he's the same vendor. Okay, he's he's a vendor too. So this is achievement. Okay, so where is the other participation event? What's Okay, so that's the participation. Where's the actual like uh while well, you're Eagerness excites me to my core. You must can only do it once a day. Okay. So we can only do it once a day. Uh as you wish, my friend. The details are as follows. Oh, okay. So every seven successes. It will increase the difficulty leading into the final showdown with the pit. Ooh. We're on ten already, aren't we? Is it ten this time? We're already on ten, right? So every seven successes. So is that like every seven days within the seven days? Or is it like every time you do it? So if you survive, if you survive five and then you survive another five, that's ten. So the, the, the difficulty for our next five will increase, right? I don't know. 
But what I can do is come over here. Because uh, I'm going to definitely get that Astral Diamond Box. Alright, we're at 200k, baby. Alright, so we're at 200,000, so we're getting close. We're getting close. Maybe that artifact will be available to us. I'm hoping it is. Come on, man. I Hopefully they went down in price on that. Ugh. No, they went up in price. <laughs> Shit. I need this. I need this one. <sighs> By the time I get the diamond saved up, man, it's got the, it's going to be way too expensive to get that set. Damn. All right. So let's go to the Captain Book Hold right here. Bell Gold. Let's go. Watch yourself in the wood, Trap. Greetings. I just received a report of trouble out by a farm, but I don't have the manpower to check it out. Can you look into it for me? I'll make it worth your while. There's a band of halfling riders in town right now, calling themselves the Grinning. Spider Pericolo Topolino, at your service. Can I help you? Ah, yes. One of our Neverwinter contacts passing by the Chandler farmhouse noted something rather odd. One of the windmills was on fire. He didn't see anyone trying to dose the fire, so he assumed there was a freak accident while no one was around. Can you believe that? I would check it out, but unfortunately the Grain and Ponies depart for the East this afternoon. Can you please check in on the Chandler farmhouse? I fear something bad has happened to them. I'll take care of it. All right, let's go attack at dusk, rend the aid of the Chandler farm, and go to the Chandler farm. All right, let's go. Let's go. You're here. The drow. Dark elves attacked under the cover of darkness last night. My family. They're all dead. I set the windmill on fire to signal for help. Then went into hiding this entire time. I... I think I can. I don't know why they would attack our small farmhouse. Please, you have to stop the drow. It's too late to save my farm or my family. But you can stop them from attacking other farms.
don't be afraid to drop a follow, you know, uh, on my Twitch. Really helps out a lot. I don't think he could have cast any more abilities because he was literally so CC'd he just couldn't do anything. <laughs> we had him so CC'd. Yeah, so, um, yeah, depending on how, uh, how many, uh, how about you come to Twitch, drop me some follows, and if I could get up to at least... If I can get followed six more times... <clears throat> that'll put me at 18 followers. Then I'll play Starfield. What you about? On the point, of course. Definitely will play Starfield. Right, I'd That's rather have the followers than to have the likes on my videos, but likes do always help. So... Definitely. So if I can get six followers off this video, then I'm definitely going to play some Starfield. And the more followers I get, the more other things that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to do crazy stuff like uh, uh, for every follower, I'll do five push-ups. That's a, that's a lot of push-ups. I don't do many push-ups. Okay. And so, the more followers I get, the more push-ups I'm going to do. The more likes I get, then I'll do push-ups for every like. I'll do hammer curls until my arms fall off. Like, go, bro, just give me a reason to just... I don't know. Just give me a reason to. So, I'll make this clear right now. You make it this far in the video. How about this? For every five likes... Uh, for every five likes, or every five followers... I will do, uh, I will do 20 push-ups, uh, ha uh, let's see, 20, uh, let's see, actually, I'll do hammer curls, I'll do, uh, let's see, skull crushers, I'll do, uh, standing biceps, uh, let's see, I'll do chest flexes, uh, well, I'll do flies, I'll do flies and everything else like that, I'll do squats, every time, every five followers that I get. I will do, uh, every five followers, I will do ten curls, push-ups, everything else like that. Or, we should do, actually, you know what, for every follower I get, every follower I get, I do five. Because I want to, I, I want to at least do it, because I, I, I want to just get one follower do five push-ups, you know what I mean? I want to be like, okay, for every five followers, I'll do twenty-five push-ups. 25 squats, 25 pull-ups, uh, 25 uh, curls, 25 crushers, you know what I mean? Just, we'll, we'll do it that way. So every five followers, I will do 25. All right? And I'll make sure I write it down and make a list. All right? I'm at 13 followers right now on Twitch. I'm at 28 uh, subs on YouTube at the moment. Uh, so for every five likes I get on the video, uh, on all my videos, um, for every five followers I get here, for every five subs I get, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm going to break it out for you guys. Anyways, let's go ahead and continue this. Garrett Chandler just came in. He says they were attacked by drow. You say there were drow vampires? Great. The last thing we need is a vampire. Station. And this point you mentioned sounds quite suspicious. Perhaps he's tied to all of this. I'll have my scouts keep an eye out for him. If he looks the way you say, that shouldn't be too hard. One of my scouts just came in from Neverwinter Wood with some very useful information. 
Several Ashmanai camps have recently appeared in Neverwinter Wood. Lucky for us. Oh, this is the Ashmadai. So, if nobody knows how to pronounce it, I believe it's called the Ashmadai. Yeah, I believe that's what it's called. Uh, you gonna speak to him, please? Right. Been wondering it used to turn up. You're not seeming like the type to miss a good fight. I've been tracking down some sort of dark magic. You remember them vampire drought the farm? The Ashmadai and these camps are controlling them. Let's take care of the Ashmadai. Boop boop be doop. Okay, I can't finish that though. I don't want to get copyrighted for that. Oh, fire consume you! Oh my goodness, these guys are doing a lot of damage. Maybe sometime I'll actually get noticed by Blizzard, and then, you know, I got some ideas for things, man. I got some ideas. Oof. My major dream is to get a hold of video game companies, to be a part of a video. I, I want people to take what's in my head and create it into a game. Like, no joke. Like, every MMO or every game in general should always have mounts. Like, straight up, always, always have mounts. Okay, so I do like the fact that our accuracy, our combat advantage, and our critical strike is doing pretty good. So I guess the next two enchantments, I'm just gonna get a, uh, I'm just gonna get some, like two citrines, to increase my accuracy a little more. I mean, to be honest, I think once the rings take effect, like right there. Oh, my accuracy is at 49%. So that's actually pretty good, to be honest. So. I, I do like the accuracy percentage that it gives me. Where are you going? <laughs> See, I like this companion because it does take the aggro away from us a lot. So, and that, that's the whole point. We want to do massive damage. We got to get that aggro away from us. Or just tank right through it. <laughs> Also, if you want to see me play Skyrim, I'll download Skyrim and play that. You know, if you want to see me, if you want to see my Elder Scrolls, I'm like my original Elder Scrolls. So if you want to see that, you want to see my tank and everything else like that. It's just, if you want to see my cosmetics, let me know. Let me know in the comments, please. Uh, I hope you make it this far in the video. So.
Oh, okay. Okay, thanks. Thanks. I appreciate it, man. The whole time, he could have already been dead when he was in that, but I forgot he was a... I forgot he was a barbarian. Looks like it's fighting already. Who is who? Never heard the name of four. Sounds like that might be the name of the stinking magic that fool was working for. I'll be paying the darn goblin kisser back as soon as I find her. A darn goblin kisser. <laughs> Why did the zealot talk about you having vampire minions? A stinking troll loving son of a dirty ogre couldn't have known a thing about me. I'm forgetting me back home. Yourself, you should find your way up to me in Gotham Grim soon. Alright. Lo and behold, let's go talk to Captain Bill Gold. It's about that, that that's about as much as music as I could play on this channel. Ah. All right, let's go. Chapter two, the print complete. Oh, strange. It seems there's more to the story than we first thought. The Ashmedai were controlling the vampire drow. Quint was trying to stop them. But why? Quint must be connected to the drow vampires that attacked the Chandler farm. We need to find out more about this dwarf. I'll send some scouts to find Quint's next location. If what you say is true, he might be waiting for you in Gauntlebrim. I promised. I've had a few scouts out looking for that dwarf for the last few days. Sure enough, he's been spotted near the ruins of Gauntlebrim. We need to know more about him. No.
sorry, I got some. I got a comment on my YouTube. Uh, Mr. Fly Free Maro just asked me if the vampire on my video was Strahd, you know, or uh, Strada. I think it's Strahd. I think I think it is Strahd. Anyways, yeah, the vampire. It's a D and D vampire from Ravenloft. Uh, he's the main vampire. Anyways. <clears throat> It is, it is, it is. Okay, so what we don't want to do is touch these pink circles. I don't want to touch those things. I remember this. Because when you touch them, bad things happen. Oh, you saw that, didn't you? You see that, like, you see the stats. So that accuracy actually just, that, that that's a good amount of accuracy. So we got power and accuracy. So I'm going to start a fight real quick. Uh, mm, excuse me. Where's the bastard elm? The dog they must have took it. Uh, I want to check my power and that right there. In battle. Bruner's elm. It were me charge. Me sacred trust. I defend the grave of King Bruna Battlehammer, me king! Well, now you know. I'm gonna get the elm back. Are you coming? Can you fight aside me? Alright, let's go. I believe we gotta fight him, too, at the very end. So this is what I mean, but sometimes it does take long to do these quests, because that's why you need movement speed. Actually, let's see that care. Okay, so 66% power and 49% accuracy when those rings have taken effect. So those rings... All right, man. Okay, we don't have to worry about those pink circles. We're good. First made them, but as you see, they's getting old. I'll have to figure out a way to repair them. Grab that campfire buff, baby. Let's go. Wait, I wonder if you get to mythic, does that one companion that gives your attributes, does it go to a plus? Uh, wait, if it's purple. And it gives you a plus two. Does it give it a plus five whenever it gets to mythic? Because that'd be that that's actually really good. I mean, probably not as good as some of the other things. You might lose a little bit of damage, but I think that would be really, really good. Like straight up. Oop, almost touched that. Yeah, those pink circles will spawn so many ads, so many enemies. You avoided stepping on any of the trap rooms by the Ashmadai. Oh, that's an achievement? I never knew that. I never even knew that. Look at that. We unlocked an achievement. Didn't even know we did. Give me that tier. That aquamarine. Alright. The throne of the dwarven god. Let's see. Candelaria Othay. I believe I have something of yours. I'll send you to the nine. 
No, Wentz. I believe you will kill this meddling <laughs> adventurer. Oh, yeah. Corrupt me, baby. You know how I like it. One charge, and you didn't even fulfill that after your death. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Hopefully, you could just reenact that yourself whenever you go through the dwarven queen, uh, the dwarven king yourself. Right, I fell beside my king a hundred years ago. My throat was slit by a vampire, but he didn't kill me. He made me one of him, a vampire, cursed. The vampire meant to turn me against me king. Ha! No curse will keep me from serving me king. No, sir. I fought the curse and gained control of myself. Then started turning drow into my minions to protect Gottlegrim. Now me minions are out of my control because of them blasted Ashmedai. In a day in which... Oh, I have to go after the girl. The elm. It's me sacred charge. Me king. If I can't get the elm back, I'm lost anyway. Can ya? Right, that might work. I've been thinking and talking, and I think Moradin's heard my plight. I think I can use the magic of that throne, with Moradin's blessings, of course, to give yourself some of me magic. You'll be able to sense the elm, and if I'm understanding things right, when you get close to it, you'll gain just a bit of me power. Should help you in the fighting. Not that you need the elm. I'll take Moradin's blessing, then return to Captain Belgold to see if we can find the helm. Let's go. Oh, holy night. All right, let's go. Man, I am too ADHD right now. I am like fidgeting and sh like blah, faster, faster. Yeah. I put a spell on you, and now you're mine. Actually, you know what? I can't really get that note. I've been trying so hard to get that note. Actually. Let me get this straight. All right, we have completed the throne of the dwarven gods, chapter three. Okay, well, then I accidentally backed out before, so let's, let me get this straight. Quint is a vampire servant of Moradin, who, whose vampire drow army has now gone out of control because of the Ashmedai and the Thion wizards. And to make matters worse, this wizard has stolen the helm of Brunner Battlehammer, a legend amongst the dwarves, and intends to use it to gain complete control over the point never t uh, never a dull day when working with an adventurer all i have my scout search for any more ashmadai camps um this was it candelara can't be far all right i don't know why i backed out of it now we're gonna go for chapter four the helm of bruner battleham in Mount Potena. I'll mark the location on your map. I wish I could be there to help you. 
Oh, oh, I remember this. Yeah, yeah, I remember this. They do a lot of damage in here. I believe the scaling in this is a little off. Just saying. Oh, Jesus. Okay. And when you say sudden accuracy, sudden power, that just means my rings are kicking in. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Uh, set. I'm gonna get you, Mr. Wizard, sir. Whoa, whoa, was that lag? I think that was lag. Oh, that was definitely lag. Oh, by the way, I found something out, man. Windgrave, when you choose the tank, I highly recommend dual wielding with the Windgrave. That, bro, that is such a broken combo. It is such a good combo. Man, you just understand, man. So much break power, so much weapon damage whenever you do that. Dual wielding that, it's, it's absolutely crazy. So if you're playing Wayfinder, choose Windgrave. And then buy some dual wields and have your sword and shield plus your dual wields. Man, you'll have so much fun. That went smoother than I thought, man. That was that was good RNG right there. That was that was pretty good RNG. I ain't gonna lie. RNGesus, help me out on that one. <sighs> that was not what I intended. I I wasn't intended to get my ass kicked right there and get thrown around like a fucking rag doll, but. Can smell it on you. Oh, you're a hero for sure. Glad I'll be to put this thing back. That bitch is dead. Did you kill that bitch? Think a curse will stand up to the might of Moradin, Dumathoan, and Clan Gedin? I'm thinking to use the throne to purify it. I'm not even sure the curse survived her death. Nothing? I'll put it on the throne just in case. Your help won't be forgotten. You helped restore me the steward of Goldgrim. The Drow Vampire minions are still on the loose, but it's not something I can't handle. You should go get yourself some rest. I meant to have my combat thing in where the chat was. Uh, usually that's what I do, so you can see the damage. 
the damage, the healing, and everything else like that as we're going along and as we progress how the damage is going to increase when you see it right there on the side of the screen because I would rather just you display the damage so, you know, you wouldn't have to ask me what the damage is or what, uh, what damage am I doing. All I know is I'm doing damage and I'm doing lots of damage and usually I'm doing more damage than most people actually do uh, at this time and level right here because, you know, of the little, you know, Little things, man. Little things that you can do in this game. Uh, let's see. Do we have enough to get some more boots? See if we have enough seals to get anything right at the moment. Uh, we do not have enough to get our, uh... We, we don't have enough. Oh, oh, okay. Never mind, never mind. I forgot. Uh, equipped another item. We got a new helmet. Okay. I didn't even notice we got a new helmet. Wow. Um, that put us at 40k, right? Yeah, okay. That put us at 40k. Nice. Manage reinforcements. Uh, my bad. Appearance in the library. All right, that's awesome, man. That's so awesome. Uh, we were right there. We couldn't get anything like that, but at least we were able to, you know, at least we were able to get a new helmet. <sighs> so do we have enough to get any of this stuff? This is the, the 1900 stuff. So this is going to be the stuff that we work on later after we get all the Seals of the North stuff, such as I already got the Ancient Scale Breaker, so I want to work on getting Scale Breaker in general. Uh, the ancient skull breaker stuff right now. And to be honest, I could actually use my diamonds to get that, but man, I am trying to get my artifact. That is just... Just a pain in the ass to get my artifact, man. Okay, so I want to know where we can get those, uh... I, I really want to know where we could get the uh, get ourselves an armor enchant. Oh wow! <gasps> Ooh, look at this, man! We can get a hundred campaign tokens. We can get some mount tokens. I mean, raising our bolster raises our stats, like. Trust me, it raises our stats a lot. Um, a hundred upgrade for mounts. Ooh, we need a glyph to potency. Should we actually use it so we can get a glyph to potency? Hmm. What should we get? Oh. Why is he a hundred, though? Ah, uh, well, here we go. Outgoing healing bonus. Okay, so... When receiving damage, the guard has a chance to gain a second wind to heal himself for 15% of his max HP. Uh, charging attack damage the target. I don't see anything but the outgoing healing and the awareness. So I, I guess that's actually pretty good. Uh, what about the... Oh, uh, this is the mount. This is the mount. What does it give me? Just a strong single attack? Eh. All right. Um, so I'm either thinking more companion tokens, so I can increase my companions. Um, uh, so I can increase my companion stats, which increases my stats. Um, or I can get a glyph to potency for my artifact. You know what I'm doing? We're getting 100 companion tokens. We want 100 of them. And you know why we want 100 of them? Because we're going to get more companion tokens. Because we want to upgrade our um, our companion again.
And look at that, we got one more left over. By the way, if you have any trade bars, I wanted to show you something. You can come down here to dies, and then uh, you come right down here. It'll be a, a bottle of black dye for three, for three trade bars. So yeah, that's 100%. That's where you get the black dye if you want to be able to get it right there. What I need to do is get some pink dye so I can have some black and pink shit going on. So then, you know, I'll be rocking the black and pink. I should have saved three, but I, I didn't think about it. Uh, let's see if I do have any keys on me. Do I have any keys on me right now? No, I don't have any keys at the moment on me. So maybe I might have one on my healer. Maybe. Uh, let's actually... No, 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 no. Uh, what we're going to do is now we're going to go to companions. Hit Y, upgrade our companion. 120. Boom, son. Look at that. We are now at legendary status on our companion. Which now stats are increased. Which is quite nice. I do have the uh, this companion stuff. So this was the stuff that drops out of Under Mountain. So once uh, once we get into Under Mountain, I'll explain everything to you on that part. Uh, the Avatar of the Dread Rising Fighter. All right. So what is it going to be to get you to Mythic? We need. We have 93. We have 93. Wow. Um, we need 57 more. 57 more tokens. And, we ha and we'll have our companion to Mythic. Our first companion to Mythic. No upgrade tokens here. But what we're going to do is we are going to uh, change our character real quick. We'll continue doing what we're doing. Just bear with me. To bear with me, right now. If you're on my, uh, if you've made it this far, just bear with me. We'll continue our story. All right. Please tell me I have some some type of uh, companion. I got 15. That is close to oh, 15 plus 42 trade bars. Okay, that's not going to give us all the companion tokens we need, but. But it'll get us close. It will get us close. Okay. Look at me scratching pennies over here. Pinching pennies, sir. Alright, so what do we have in total? We have 29. Wow, man. 29. The moment we get a chance, we want to increase our stats. That's the reason why, like, every time we get something... Oh, okay, so we got that, uh, and just so you know, that Never Ember stuff that we actually got, the, that stuff right there, you get that through going through the campaign. You get that stuff by going through the campaign. So if you took a new character, and you went through the campaign again, or the, all your adventures, then you can get more tokens. So you can constantly keep doing that on each one of your characters. You know, delete them, make a new one, delete them, make a new one. Each time you do that, will be a hundred campaign tokens, or a hundred Never Ember tokens. So then, thereof you can, um, so thereof you can continuously save up as much as you need to do mount tokens. It's going to take a while, but if you do it correctly and you do it just fine, I mean, you do it correctly. Uh, if you do want to spend any type of money in the game, just try to go for the VIP because you get a uh, you get a key every single day if you go VIP. That's that that's that's my advice. And any money you put in the game, just buy keys, buy keys, earn keys. Because uh, you want trade bars. Your life will be so much easier with trade bars. Anyways. Okay, yeah. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Wrong one.
Wow, that's weird. That's the same. You see that? Wow, I didn't realize that was all the same. Alright, so how much, uh, what do we got here? 34 of these, but we'll have to work on getting amount tokens. But anyways, companion upgrades. Oof, let's go. Uh, let's see, hold up. How much did we have? 122. Damn, man. We're so close. We are so close of getting our first mythical, uh, companion. Which it's going to help us a lot on our stats. So if we come here. Check out our stats right now. Uh, I don't think we went up much, but we went up a little bit. Uh, critical severity is a tad bit low. Um, but that's just going to fluctuate each time we... Uh, uh, each time we equip a piece of gear and then put another piece of gear on and all that stuff right there. Uh... I really wish they would lower the price, man. Ah, uh, drop it down to like 189 or something, bro. Come on. Shit. Uh... Let's see how much, uh, let's see how much those things are going for. Uh, any class. Oh, shit. Uh, that's, that's not bad at all. Those ain't bad at all. Wow. That's uh that's a lot of damage right there, getting fifteen uh max fifteen strikes. Uh see max is fifteen targets with five hundred critical strike per target. Oh. Okay, that's nice. So basically you get around well, about around fifty five hundred critical strike. That's uh, that's not bad at all to have those. It's not bad at all. Sixteen hundred though. Damn. It's too bad this one isn't all that great right now. Um. Oh, it's twenty-five. It's only twenty-five. Uh, twenty-five thousand astral diamonds. Okay, so this is stupid because when you have oh when you have no teammates within thirty feet of you and your stamina regen and control resistance is increased by five. Okay, that's good whenever you're solo, okay. That's pretty good. Whoa, what are these? Are these crafted? Well, I've never seen something like this before. Huh. All right, what is it? When your health is 50% or more, your crit severity is increased by 7,500. When your health is below 50%, your deflection is increased by 7,500. Okay. That's a pretty good set. But the, set, uh, but the fact is, those are absolutely like 1,600. You would have to be like a super high level in order for those not to mess with your item level. See, yeah, these these aren't even really all that good. Wow. Um, we need to go check something out. We're going to return to Captain Bell Gold in just a second. So we're going to come over here and see something real quick. Uh, whenever you activate a daily power, you increase the damage dealt by, uh, by your at-will attacks by 15%. Ooh, those are nice. 
Okay. I mean, I could dig that right there. These ones would be, be the first ones we get with the uh, Seals of the Dragon. Yeah. So you can have a weekly cap of 500. You can only have a weekly cap of 500 at a time? What? Well, it's a good thing that these are only 450 because those are really nice to have. So I only get 1,000 power and 1,000 deflection. If I have a team of like four... If I get a team of four or five, then I get 5,000 power, 5,000 deflection. Not bad at all. Not bad at all, man. That Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so... Oh, it's different. So these ones are 1,000 power and 1,000 combat for each player on your team. Okay. Okay. Nice. All right. So it binds on pickup character. So that means you can't get it. So like on here... Binds on equipped character. So equipped characters, you can buy them and sell them. Okay. So basically, that's what it is. All right. 5% damage against dragons. When your health is below 50%, your awareness is increased by 8,000. 8, wow. So that's actually pretty nice to have anyways, because we can run this helmet... When we're fighting dragons too, and do more damage to dragons. Nice little perk to have right there. Wow, what in the hell? When not in a party, gain 5,000 defense. When in a party, gain 10,000 combat advantage. When not in a party, gain 5,000 critical avoidance. I mean, that's good, but what's the solo benefit on this? Okay, well, that's that's not really all that great. I mean, I think you should get the 5,000 combat advantage, and then when you're in a party, you get 5,000 defense. I, I guess so. If you're solo, you should get the combat advantage, and you should be able to get 7,500 on the combat advantage. Uh, let's see what these ones give me. Whenever you deflect an attack. Whenever you deflect an attack. So I guess we can get these boots. It was like whenever you deflect an attack, you gain 1% movement speed and recharge speed for 10 seconds. I, I mean, I guess we could use our diamonds to get that. We, we need at least, you know, we need to balance out our stats a little bit. So, we're going to go ahead and balance out our stats a little bit, man. Oh, yeah, that looks ten times better now. Oh yeah, look at me, look at me, look at me. Look at that. Save and wear, baby. Yeah, we look at we look at more fly every day. Alright, now we have to go and continue requesting. I have wasted enough time, sir. <laughs> I've wasted enough time, ladies and gentlemen. Watch yourself in the wood, traveler. Now we got the helm of the Brune of the so Battle the Hammer complete. Is no more. And Quent has Bruno's helm. I suppose that's good. But I'd like to have a few scouts keep an eye on the dwarf from now on. Quent claims he has control over the curse, but Candelaria took control of him pretty easily, from what you said. I know you've done a lot for us, but I need your help with another dwarven-related issue. One of our soldiers has gone missing. A member of the Neverwinter Guard disappeared into the foothills of Velosk a few days ago. He was out wandering on his own, against all protocol. 
We've had a few reports of orcs gathering in that area, but I simply can't spare enough soldiers to safely investigate. I need you to scout the area and see if you can find any evidence of what happened to our soldier. He's a red bearded. Oh, by the way, um, if you make it this far, thank you so much. I appreciate the love and support. Uh, each time I get a chance to say that, I'd like to say that because I'm doing all this by myself. No one else is helping me. Uh, I'm working my butt off. I'm putting out content. I'm trying to, you know, just raw, uncut content. If you have to and you want to get to the nitty gritty, if I'm too ADHD for you to skip ahead to where I'm not talking... <laughs> But also, if you want to see me play the new Call of Duty, that'd be awesome. That'd be cool. If uh, somebody who watches this wants to gift it to me, that would be amazing as well. I mean, I'm not saying you have to. I'm not saying you have to. But a nice good gift off Battle.net of the uh, MW3, that would be nice. I would definitely play it every single day. And probably nothing else. I'm just kidding. I would still play other, other games. But I want to play the new zombies. I'm not a big zombie fan. I am not a big horror shooter zombie fan, you know. Uh, I really wish they would just incorporate... I love MW3. I mean, I love MW2 Mosh Pit. I love the third person. Third person is just so fun for me. And I was about to say I'm a dumbass if I didn't have my mic down. Now, if you look at her stats, they're better now. Uh, once I upgraded that, so I guess once we upgrade our companion, we got to switch out another piece of gear. Uh, so Because our percentages are just going to go up and down, up and down, up and down. So as long as we're staying, look at that, accuracy and combat advantage, critical strike and crit severity. So I get my accuracy up there. It's the combat advantage I need more of. So that's why I'm probably going to get some, uh, some more amethysts. Yeah, I really hope you guys take me up on my offer about like every five, every five subscribers, every five, you know, followers on Twitch. Um, every like, every five likes on my videos. Every five views on my video. Well, not five views. That's kind of overkill. But I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. Um. Yeah, I was being, I'm being dead dog serious. I will do lots of exercises. I will buy dumbbells if I have to. I will buy me some dumbbells. Some 15, actually some 15 pound dumbbells.
Yeah, we're, we're, we're doing so much more damage since we upgraded our companion just now. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's actually pretty nice. Um, we're at a 41k now, and we're at 5,000 damage. Yeah, we're at a 41k and we have 5,000 damage. So that extra 5% combat advantage whenever he's attacking, I want to see that on my scale. You know, I kind of want to see the scaling of that. So, oh, light the campfire. I do wish co. I wish they. Uh, I, I wish Bethesda would actually give us a co-op mode on Starfield because I'm gonna play with a buddy. You know what I mean? I want to get up with a buddy and just fucking just straight up like play that shit. You know what I mean? I mean, come on, bro. So what? You're playing the hardest difficulty. Anybody could play the hardest difficulty and beat it. I'm saying in general, people could just beat it. Lots of people's always. I mean, there's some people that can and some people that can't. Me, I could beat the hardest difficulty on most games. I mean, it's it's really not that hard, <clears throat> to be honest. Ultra hard wasn't that hard on um, Horizon Zero Dawn. That was pretty good. Uh, I I also play Horizon too. So if you want to see me play Horizon, man, just straight up like, what what, what up you think you going, bro? You're deleted, sir. I, I don't know where this guy thought he was going. Me thanks for your help. Name's Bonago Batlass. That's me old bit. We should get going before more of the darn orcs show up. I'm a worse than I'd let on to them pigs. A group of them took their loot away yesterday. I'll be back for it, don't you doubt. All right, let's go. Watch yourself let's go, baby, let's go. Oh, you're welcome. It ain't nothing. Control to go off on some sort of wild adventure. I'm worried about the dwarf. I think he's planning on doing something reckless. He's a good soldier. I'd hate to see him get killed over some foolhardy adventure. I might just do that. I might do the whole renown thing so that I can get my 100% bolster for my mounts and my companions. I, I'm really, really going to do that. The whole never ember stuff is that that's actually pretty nice to do. Um, let's see. Chapter 6, the tattered maps. All right, let's go. Now we got to go to Driftwood Tavern. That would be right over here. I get for saving baby mum. I'm meaning to get back what's mine from them smelly orcs. Me equipment is easily replaced, but they took something what's meaning more. A document I'm wanting back. A map that'll lead me to a place I need to go. The orcs we killed got a camp inside a nearby cave we're going to. Are you gonna help me get the documents back? I'm in. Let's go. Get your map. Yeah, I had to. Alright, let's go.
Okie dokie. Uh, I think this is where we gotta collect maps, right? Yeah, well, documents, same thing. God, aggro range in this game, bro. Oh man, I remember a long time ago, those guys with the butcher knives, bro. Those guys did so much damage, man. So much. Like, I really miss my Hunter Ranger, man. Oh, man, if I had the money, I would make myself a Hunter Ranger. I'd just buy myself all the way, the way to the top with just one character. You know, I would have done it. Like, if I do have the money, I would do it. But, it, but you know me, I'm just... I don't spend my money on things like that. Even if I had the money... Actually, no, if I had the money, I wouldn't even do it. Honestly, I'll tell you right now, I would not do it. I will honestly, honestly tell you, I would not pay my way to the top on this game. If I see something I like, I'm going to buy it, though. We have three more documents to get. We got one more right here. Okay. Well, those guys were sleeping. Oh, you're an asshole. You, those guys were sleeping. What the hell happened? How much combat advantage did we get off that? Oh, his passive didn't kick in because we killed it too fast. Oh, yeah. Actually, what we need to do is we need to get our weapons. We need to get our better weapons. I didn't think about that. We need our weapons. We actually need our weapons. I never even thought about getting that. Um, main hand. Dude, 50,000 for that shit? Oh my god. 200k for that shit? Oh, it's antique. Okay, it was antique. DPS is recharge speed. I like recharge speed, but not that much. You know. Damn, that sucks. Uh, what about... Offhand? 46k? I mean, we have enough to get them both, but damn, that's a... That's a lot of that's a lot of astral diamonds. Holy shit! This is the Grand Alliance, and this is the Antique. The Antique gives recharge speed. The Great Alliance gives power. Ooh, we want power. We want our forte and power increase. So we want Grand Alliance. So this is 46k. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I mean, I guess we're going to go with Grand Alliance because we want that extra power. But I'm going to... I thought p people would at least put them in there for like, you know, 35k or something like that, you know. But, you know, leave it to people to control their own prices. Um... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I don't go to artifacts. I mean, I used to be artifact weapons. But I don't think they're called artifact weapons anymore.
See, these are the ones that you want, are the Bronzewood ones. This one does the outgoing healing... I mean, the outgoing damage, the outgoing healing, and the uh, minus incoming damage. So it's a reduction to all those other ones for the mastered ones. Uh, the new ones, I believe, are these ones. The Fey Broad ones. Yeah, these are the new ones. Yeah, so the Fey Broad Slabs are the new ones. So this effect may stack up five times when allies are equipped with the set of stronghold weapons. That means for now, it doesn't stack up five times, but each time you have an ally that has one, it will stack up five times. The Fey Wood Broad Slab is what it's called. The Lion Heart isn't bad either, though. Well, it wasn't the lion heart. It was something else. Anyways, the Feywood slab. So you have the Feywood, and then you have the then you have the plus one. These ones are the uh, the regular ones, and then you have the plus ones right over here. Those are the crafted ones. But we need our uh, we need our antique, I believe. the The alliance ones is that it? Okay. So I guess we're gonna use alliance weapons. Alright. As much as we didn't want to get that, we do need our actual weapons because we want our passives. Eventually, we're just going to have to wait. Wait. Are we missing a document? Uh, oh no, we're supposed to go this way anyways. Now, if we had VIP right now, we'd be able to actually, um, sorry, ADHD king. Uh, okay, so if we had VIP in this game right now, um, like level, I think max VIP, uh, we'd be able to, um, be able to summon our bank yeah or be able to I think you might you know I don't know I don't think they have a banker I know you can get a mailbox oh yeah duh, a mailbox so you can summon a mailbox to be honest Dude, bro, bro, move out of my way. <laughs> NPC. We will meet with the raid on Shadow Waters. Watch intruders. <laughs> You'll make a fine feast. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. The map. What are these other papers? Still can't believe that I'm And then we'll be able to get three percent more power and three percent more forte. Yeah, more power. Aye. It looks like there's more of these orcs. And it looks like they're planning something big. Might be a raid. But I can't tell where. We should be leaving. Captain Belgo needs to know this. Know this.
Watch yourself in the wood, Trevor. I see you've returned safely. Did you find anything worth reporting? Hmm. You're sure the orcs are planning an attack? Wonderful. An orc invasion is just what we need. I'll deploy scouts immediately, and thank you. You've done me a great service by keeping Bonigo safe. Maybe now he'll return back to his duties. But I fear this map may lead him on another adventure. All right, we at chapter seven now. We have to get all the way to chapter nine. So we're almost done, guys. We're almost done. And it's around about a two-hour video. Kind of wasted a little bit of time, but we'll go ahead and get it. All right. Let's go ahead and get our weapons too. Even worse, they've apparently enlisted a clan of ogres as allies. Lord Neverender said he would send a squad of soldiers to protect the town, but it would put my mind at ease if you would also go and help. Bonigo has already left against my orders to help the town. All right, we're at 43k now. We have our percentages up there, so our percentages are still staying the same. Let's go. That's a good thing now. Uh, we do have this, plus we get our 3% more power now. Of, I think it's while we're in combat, I believe. When I'm 25%, okay, so if I'm 25 feet or closer to the target, a stat, depending on your roll, is increased. And your forte is increased by 3%. So every time we go into combat, we get 3% forte, which will increase our power, our crit severity, well, hold up. Our power, our awareness... And uh, whatever our forte, uh, our forte will increase these stats right here. Our forte will be increased so that it increases our power, our crit severity, and our awareness. So all of those will be increased. <laughs> so we're going to go to shallow waters. It's a good thing I know how to swim. So, my question is, why does every video game or every developer create backgrounds and surroundings that have water, but we can never swim? In Wayfinder, you can't swim. Warframe, you can't swim. Neverwinter, you can't swim. So, oh, what, what other what are the water do you have? What other water games do we have? Thank goodness, an adventurer's here. Captain Belgol requested a well-trained army to fight the right up. but instead we got a group of new recruits. Please do what you can to save the village. I'll stay here to try to help. A I do have a major. Oh, that's a no, no, that's a divine. I don't have a major kit. Hold on, is there a vendor over here? No, there ain't a vendor. I was going to say I'd, I'd get a major one, but I don't have one. baby oh yeah oh my god our accuracy is oh man that's look at that green accuracy baby oh my goodness I love it see that forte boosted our accuracy to where now our accuracy is at like uh, at green so that means it's good that means accuracy is good at the moment Uh Oh man. Ah. Lag. Mm. 
I love to see that green number. That that green number is so good right now. Yeah, so that that accuracy is so good right now. Okay, so so our, uh, so that means when we're at a green accuracy, that means not a lot of these enemies are going to be able to deflect a lot of our attacks. Like uh, say for instance, we're going to come over here now. Kind of curious enough to see what's going on. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That was so satisfying to see that. To see that green number was very satisfying, especially in my accuracy stat. To see that stat in my accuracy is just so nice. Come on, gather up. Gather up, ladies. Ooh. Yeah. Dude, already, man, that's 50%, man. That's good. As long as our accuracy is exactly green is where we want it. Oh, gotta love accuracy, man. Gotta love accuracy. That means not. <clears throat> so that means. So if you don't know what the accuracy is, I'll let you. I'll educate you if you're new to my channel or video. If you look right here, accuracy is decreases the enemy's reduction to the damage of your deflected attacks. So that means enemies in this game can deflect your attacks. When you're at accuracy, when your accuracy is green like that, that means them them enemies ain't gonna. Ain't going to deflect your attacks anymore. So you have a higher chance of them not deflecting any of your attacks. So that's why I'm doing more damage to this guy. And he's, he can't deflect any of my stuff. Look at that. He's just not deflecting anything. So basically it's like doing true damage to your... Uh, it's basically like doing true damage to the enemy. That means uh, you're, uh, whenever it's green like that, you're just doing 100% of everything towards that. You see that? Just like bam. You do more damage to the enemy when that happens. So like right now, these attacks are shredding him. And then I'm going to come over here. Oh, that guy kind of I kind of bugged out in the corner. But I'm saying, Jiro, that took a little longer than I wanted. All right. Oh yeah, that that was. Uh, oh my God, our stats are so beautiful right now. I really do want to do that. I really want to take off Deathlord. Um, and all those yellow numbers you see, you'll see like a lot of poison damage. The like the Deathlord would just be a lot of poison damage. So. <clears throat> When you see a lot of yellow numbers just popping up, that's the poison damage from the death slot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to companions. And uh, I'm going to actually go to companion bonus. And I'm going to look at death slot. So death slot is what I'm going to want. That's uh, <clears throat> that is a uh, most definite. Uh, we're going to we're going to switch that out for. Uh, My bad. We're going to go to collections. We're going to go to... Uh... Where's that new companion that we saw? We saw a new companion somewhere.
It's one of these new companions. Where did we see the new companion at? Was it this guy? Nope. I bet you he's badass as hell, though. I bet you he could, like, tear some stuff up, dude. Yeah, dude, engulf the area surrounding the caster in fire. Dude, that's that's pretty badass. If I was going to buy a companion, I'd buy that. It's 20% off right now. Okay. <clears throat> I swear, where is that companion we saw? I can't remember. So if you can remember, and you've ever uh, and you've seen throughout my videos, I, there was a companion that it showed that it gives us a plus two to all our stats. So I'm I'm, I'm fixing to actually take. I'll probably use that one instead. But that's a plus two to our stats, and I'm probably going to trade that out from Death Slot because I th if it does what I think it's going to do at Mythic, it's going to be a um. Don't you worry, you'll see. I'll let you know when it's time. Watch yourself in the wood, traveler. It doesn't look like there's much to worry about for those orcs and oaks. At least not in the near future. Neverwinter is in your debt. Bonago wants you to accompany him on a quest. I knew this old business of his wasn't done. There we go. It's a mythical companion called the Portobello Da Vinci. So we're going to switch Death Slot out with this. Okay, so at Mythic, it's only a plus two. So I think we still have the campfire buff. But anyway, so a plus two. So, 30 strength and 30 dex. That would be a 26 constitution. Uh, that would be a um, 14 charisma, 14 wisdom, and a 15 intelligence. No, 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 no. And a 12 intelligence. That would raise our stats pretty decent. We ain't worried about these ones, but I'm saying just these. Getting two more instead of 28, 28, and 25. We could have literally 30, 30, and 60. Which, I mean, if we're going to go for overall stats, I kind of like the extra damage I do. Because damage is quite nice to have. Uh, I do need to work on getting a uh, an attachment to my, uh, my weapons and stuff like that. Which I want to see real quick. We're going to go to um, consumables. We're going to go to armor reinforcement kits. We're going to go to epic. Now this one is the combat advantage jewel. We have uh, combat advantage. One's for jewelry. Oh, 
ones we want, I think, are the majors. I don't think there's any hi anything higher than a major. Oh, well, major plus one. So. Alright, see, these are the plus ones. Yeah. No, that's some, uh, so we gotta type in Alright, so major plus ones is what it is. Alright. So, wow. Okay, so let's say stamina regions. Or how much? Yeah, so major stamina jewels are 40 a piece. Okay, so 43 a piece for major stamina jewels. Uh, so basically what it does is it gives you 2.2% extra stamina regen. So if you combine that with all three of what you're, or your two, two that you're wearing be awesome. Uh, I don't know what uh, this one attaches to. I think this is for, um, this is for neck, waist, and ring. So basically you'll have 2.2 on all your stats and you have 2, 4, 6, 8. So you have about 8.8% .8 more stamina regen. So that's actually really good to have in combat. Um, neck, waist, and ring slots for combat advantage. <coughs> if you're lacking in that. Uh, major deflection. This is right here for armor pieces. Head, armor, feet. Installed right there. Uh, I think what we go for is... Um, I mean, we've benefited for a lot of awareness, but we actually want hit points, too. <clears throat> we like the extra health. So, uh, I don't know what... What's the major... Uh, for... Uh, awareness more. We want to get our awareness up. So I think uh, I think just having four pieces of awareness on our body. Uh, but these ones are oh awareness is on neck, waist, or rings. Never mind. <coughs> Let's see. Combat advantage. Um, major defense. Head armor and feet. Where's the uh, where's the major health? They remove it from the game? Oh, major hit points right here. So how much are the major hit points per... Alright, so what it does is it gives us major hit points. So if you get one, two, three, four. So you have one, two, three, four. So it's four times 3,500. So you get around about 12,000 extra hit points for just wearing that, which is actually quite worth it, to be honest. Uh, to be uh, to be honest, I, I wish it was like 4,000. Anyways, let's go ahead and finish up this uh, quest and get the last couple chapters done. But that was the Portobello one. That's what I thought it was probably. Uh, we'll probably not switch it out, but I mean, I'll give it a try and see if it like evens out my stats even more. <clears throat> All right, let's go to the Driftwood Tavern. Uh, but I was thinking maybe at Mythic it would be like five attributes. 
but it's not. It's actually it's only two at Mythic, and I, I don't think that's even worth it. But I mean, I guess that if you need the extra stats, it's fine. But I don't think we need the extra stats. I've got the adventure of a lifetime. Gorgrim, the home of my ancestors. That map we took from them orcs is a map to Gorgrim. I'm going to the ancient city of the Delzoon to find the throne of the Dwarven gods. You've been to Gorgrim? All for the better. You'll be me guide. I'm sure you'll be crawling with all manner of monsters. It'll be a grand bit of adventure. You'll see. When we get to the throne, you'll see. It'll all be worth it. Adventurer and our king. We were tasked with defending Gorgogrim. We have failed. We have been cursed by the evils of the Underdark. Driven mad by that which lurks in the darkness. Do not hold back against those who were once good and pure. If there is light, it shall be revealed. If not, then you must end.
a grave robber? Me king? You become a vampire, do What are you doing? I'm defending Gottlegrim from the drow. Forever. Oh, Nipwe. <laughs> Loyal to the end. I failed you, me king. You can't be trusted a damn fool vampire. Red! Must know by now, I ain't who I say I am. Your real name is Brunor Batlammer, former king of Gottlegrim. There's a long story about why I was hiding this Bonico. Maybe one day I'll tell you what happened. Keep this a secret between the two of us for now. But not that it matters. I came here to reclaim me throne. Now, that ain't happening. I don't know. The throne rejected me. I don't know why. Go on without me. I can find my own way out of this place. After I get my armor and helm back. I'm sure Belgoth will be worried about me. Or telling myself what happened. He's been sending you to look after me out of the kindness of his own heart. He deserves an explanation. Watch yourself in the wood, traveler. I just saw Bonica. He told me everything. That you and him were working to clear the evil within Gauntlegrim, and that he wanted to honor the name of Brunor Battlehammer. He was even wearing the Battlehammer armor. I can understand the desire to honor a dead ancestor. Lord Nasher is still worshipped by many people here in Neverwinter. I can only imagine the lengths I would take to reclaim Neverwinter if she ever fell into ruin. Bonigo told me that you and him still have one last adventure before this is all over. Maybe this will be the key to reclaiming Gauntlegrim. The last and final quest. Thank you for joining me until the end. Bonigo is waiting for you in Driftwood Tavern. After telling me his story, he said he realized where he went wrong, and that he wanted the two of us to accompany him to Gottlegrim. Unfortunately, I cannot leave my post in Neverwinter, even if it's only for a few days to journey into Gottlegrim. I'm needed. You made it. I'm not surprised Belgo couldn't make it. But I figured I'd at least try. I think I realized why the throne rejected me. It's cause of me print. He's lost in Gottlegrim. Me last loyal follower is lost. And I need to find him. What kind of king would I be if I let me only loyal guard be left to wander on his own? We need to go to Gottlegrim and save print. I fought side by side with print. Let's go save him.
Let's see if I can't, uh, you know, do some combat and beat the shit out of some enemies while I'm drunk. into the lower tunnels. We should stop looking there. See, I, I told you I'd be drunk whenever I do this. See if I can't do it. <laughs> Fighting enemies. I totally miss them, by the way. Look at that. Oh, my God. The abilities are going everywhere. <laughs>
time is up, Drow. I'm now Roshini. I am in the. Friend. Oh, friend, I'll save you one day. I promise. Let's get back to the throne room. did good. Pleasure, as you can see. The throne has accepted me again. Even if I didn't say quick, more than knows that I want to. The throne has made a gift for you. A replica of my very own elf. Treat it well. There's more to do here, and you better believe I'll be calling on you. <laughs> In fact, I've got something for you now, if you're up for it. Goldrim's got a lot of problems need to be solved. We got Vanifer and the cultists running loose in the fiery pit, while the drow are infesting the tunnels beneath here like rats. Most of all, though, I aim to be finding me friends. Triss, Regis, and me daughter, Catty Bree. Maybe Catty will know how to kill Paul Quinn. Showed yourself to be brave and true in the face of danger, and I ain't gonna forget that.
All right. We're going to speak to him, and we're going to go to into the Mantle of Dareth. And that will be our next adventure. We now have boon points, so we have five boon point, uh, five boon points to actually spend. So what we're going to do is we're going to just put it all in power, commit to the changes. That's what you want to do. yourself in the world. List! Looks like our friend is here. It's good to meet you. My name is Driss Duerdu, and I've heard much about your adventures from Regis. I believe you knew him as Spider. I'll get straight to the point. A large demonic army has invaded the Underdark. The details are unclear, but there is one thing I know of. Demogorgon, the prince of demons, demons is among the number of demons terrorizing the Underdark. We're, We're going, going to, to kill it. it. We're going to gather a formidable force in Mantal Dereth, a secret trading post deep within the Underdark. Regis has managed to guarantee us passage to and from Mantal Dereth, something I have heard is hard to come by. I will be our guide there. If my plan has worked, then Bruinor will have received my message by now and will be moving to meet us in Mantal Dereth. Once we're at the trading post, we will begin to form a strategy to banish Demogorgon back to the Abyss. If you're ready, I'll mark on your map where we'll meet to begin our journey into the Underdark. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, lads and lassies, if you made it to the end of the video, you guys are awesome. I appreciate you so much. I appreciate you all a lot. I uh, My brother was getting ready, so he was kind of indecent, did not want to have him on camera. So anyways, um, 
you make it to the video in the description below there will be um, the challenge like I presented to you for every five likes for every five views I don't know hold up for every five likes for every five followers for every five subs to my YouTube whichever one you want to do for every five that I get I would do 25 of an exercise and I, I will do it in camera if I have to. I'll get the barbells if I have to. I'll curl if I have to. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I will do the weights. I will do hammer curls, skull crushers, um, uh, let's see, butterflies, uh, chest flies, uh, reverse curls if I can do those. Uh, um, I would have bent over rows. Uh, I can do uh, do those. And the way I work out is different because that would actually help me because... Um, that gives me more motivated to the gym if I can't make it to the gym, but I want to stream more for you guys. So in the description below, there will be the challenge. So if you made it this far, thank you so much. I appreciate it. God bless you and God bless your families. Uh, you know, may you wake up with another breath to breathe in the morning. So I, I'm probably going to head back over to Wayfinder and I'm going to play some on PC right now. Uh, the next one that we're going to be doing is the Maze Engine. So uh, look forward to seeing Neverwinter, Dungeons and Dragons, the Maze Engine. So we got to go to Mantel. Uh, Mantel Dareth is where we're going to be going to, uh, tomorrow whenever we stream. And we'll be doing the Maze Engine. Uh, I'm going to be posting this to YouTube, so all you YouTube people that watch this video, thank you so much. And it, you were part of the challenge as well. Uh, I want people to come around more. I want people to give me more of a challenge. I will do this just for you. Uh, I, it's another reason for me to uh, get back into shape as well because, uh, you know, I'm going, I'm, I'm almost 40 years old. Um, I used to be 265 pounds, man. Nothing but uh, and 15% body fat, bro. I was, I was, I was in my prime. Okay, uh, I don't take pre-workouts. I, I don't take protein shakes. I, I need to kind of start taking protein. The only thing I've ever done is taken recovery. Uh, here lately, that's what I've been doing. When I was younger and I was powerlifting, I was taking, um, I was taking pre-workouts. Uh, I was taking, I was dr eating really dirty. And I was drinking lots of protein shakes. So I got around about 265 pounds. But man, could I lift a lot of weight, man. I was strong. I had strength. But anyways, um, I kind of want to get back to somewhat of that. I kind of want to get to at least 245. I am at 231. Uh, but, you know, it's still going to take time for me to do that. Uh, I have really good muscle growth, by the way. Like, um, I have really high testosterone levels, and that's what I'm very proud of. Even though at my age, I have higher testosterone than most males, and which is really, really nice, man. Uh, I, I'm too scared to take steroids. I will never touch that stuff. No way ever. SARMs, PEDs, steroids, no. No, if I do anything ever, it'd be a pre-workout. That, that's the only thing, man. I'm too afraid to take that shit. I want to r risk my life doing that. No, no. But anyways, uh, the challenge does stand for every five likes on my video, for every five subs on my YouTube, and for every five followers on my Twitch. Uh, I will do 25 of an exercise. So say 10 of you. That's 50, bro. That's 50. That means I would split it up. I would split up those 50, uh, those 50 reps. And I would split it up in three different exercises if I have to. Or two different exercises, you know. Uh, say we do 25 bent over rows. And then we do 25 bent over rows. That means if, we, if we're not doing a double exercise, uh, if we're not doing a double exercise, that means I have to do 25 in this arm. And I have to do 25 in this arm as 25. So it's actually a 0.5. If it's a single exercise, say I go like this, uh, then it, that, that's not considered one. This is considered one. So I have to do this rep, this rep, that means one. But if I could take it and do both, that's considered one rep. So if I do the bent over rows, uh, unless I have a single barbell to do the reverse bent over rows, I'm not gonna re um, uh, I'm not gonna be able to do that. Uh, I might have to go get a barbell, but most of the time it's just gonna be dumbbells. I go out and get myself 15 pound dumbbells uh, you, you, you can get pretty big off of just 15 pound dumbbells. Uh, usually I go from five pounds to 25 pounds doing five, uh, five reps, five, seven, no, no, not five reps, as many reps as possible. I don't count 
only whenever I'm doing single exercises is the only time I ever count. Anyways, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. Uh, much love and respect, uh, especially right there. Don't forget to go check out Wolf uh, WolfAngel underscore 88 to uh, get yourself an anime cup. I'm not sponsored by her. She's just a really good friend of mine. And, uh, you know, I don't mind helping people out, you know. Anyways, so, uh, and thank you for the, uh, the other person who did sub uh, to my YouTube. I have not checked your name, but you will be in my next shout out. Thank you so much for joining, and uh, I will see you in the next video.